Now we've got a lovely Torina game, tis the season. In here we've got brioche, we've got crispy chicken skin. So what we want to do, get that out of the bag. Instantly be a little mosaic here of the pressing of game. That's all been warming up 10 to 15 minutes before you're going to need it. And then it will taste absolutely lovely. Fridge cold is not the way to serve it. So there, I'm just going to show you, that's my chicken skin. Let's just empty that onto the board, all ready to go. Here, let's get our brioche. Let's get it under the grill. Keep an eye on that because it does burn very, very easily. Prune puree, a little game vinaigrette. Now let's open up that pressing. So there you go. You can see why we call it a mosaic because you've got all the lovely pieces. In there we've got pheasant, we've got partridge, all local to us here on the Isle of Wight. Take a pair of scissors and we've just got a layer of eco film, so eco clean film just on the outside. Just snip that off, peel that off and that can go into your food waste or into your bin from the tool. Keep an eye on my brioche. Just starting to colour there. Where the brush is sweet, it will colour very, very quick. Back under both sides. And what I'm going to do, a little bit of rapeseed oil on the top. There we go, nice shine all the way around it. And then we're going to put that just at the top, like so. We've got our uh, little chicken skin ready to go. The brioche off, keep an eye on my sorry, brioche. Cut a little uh, edge off a of prune puree so it can use that as a piping bag essentially. And look at that, brioche is all ready to go. Onto our board, and then really, really nice this is way of serving the brioche. Let's get our prune puree and put a nice big amount of that. It's almost this is like your chutney that you would serve with a terrine. But get a palette knife. And then you see I'm just spreading it all the way around. I'm keeping it just a little bit domed in the center. You see I'm just spreading from the edge. So I keep it all nice around the outside. Look at that, lovely. That can go onto our plate. Let's get rid of that hot tray. And a little bit of chicken skin. This is just where you can kind of put a few little pieces just sitting up against the terrine. That's a really welcome, welcome little crunch to the dish, like so. And last up, our game dressing. So here we've made a stock from the pheasant, from the partridge, the bones. We've reduced it down, a tiny bit of sherry vinegar, rapeseed oil, look at that. Finishes it off perfectly. Now how about that? Beautiful seasonal pressing of game, partridge of pheasant, prune puree, toasted brioche. Onto our fish main course now, and again, really, really seasonal. We've got a super piece of bream just under here. It's got a parmesan crust on the top, uh, nice and thin. This is just going to go in the oven. We've already coloured it off, as you can see, into the oven 10 to 12 minutes. So let's get that out of here. There we go. Rest of the garnish. Sprouts. Now, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but like this, I guarantee you'll love them. We've got a little fricassee of sprouts in here, chestnuts, herbs. Um, we've also got some sprout tops just to go on at the end, touch a bit of uh, butter in there. Make sure you keep the lid on these ones. Again, they're going to steam nicely in the container. They're going to take about eight to ten minutes in the oven, just with that lid on the top. Fricassee is literally onto the heat with a spoon. Keep stirring it just until it comes up to the simmer one or two minutes simmering and then just pull it off the side and retain hot until we're ready to serve it. And then in here, look at that, lovely little vinaigrette. This is what's gonna bring the whole dish together at the end. Just gonna show you this. Pour it into your little pan. Make sure you get all those clams in there. They're pallored clams. That's our dressing. This is just gonna get warmed up very gently on the stove. You don't need to boil it because of course the clams are already cooked. Warm dressing, fricassee, sprout tops, back in about 10 minutes to plate up. So, all ready to serve up our bream now. There we go, hot plate. Vinaigrette has just warmed up, remember. Only warm, you don't need to kind of boil it or anything because otherwise the clams will overcook. Then let's pull our lid off our sprout tops, so wonderful green sprout tops in there. Very, very carefully lift your bream out, which has all got that nice little crust on. 
and I've got a spatula ready here to get that onto my plate. Now fricassee. So it's all been heated up in the sauce. Check out lovely herbs, chestnuts, really nice light cream sauce going through it. And what I'm doing here, I'm getting a nice little bed to sit the cream on the top, okay? So just plate it where you can see everything, good amount on there. Happy with that. And then what I'm going to do is get a little bit of sauce from the pan. It's easier, it's easier to dress this before you put the bream on. So, like so. There we go. Let's get the bream. So, as I said, fish slice. Let's just make sure it's all nicely off that paper. Then lift up. Nice and careful, let's get rid of our paper. And then let's put that onto the top, like so. Clean down the rubber board, keep nice and tidy. Back to my sprout tops now. With these, you can just kind of like fold them over a little bit. It's just to add a little bit of that eye-catching green. Mum says you should always have plenty of green vegetables with your main course, so here we go. A few extras, a few more, Gonna maybe get one more on there. I don't want to kind of completely fill the plate, so you can always serve a few just on the side. Look at that, lovely. Onto our clams. Let's plate the clams first of all. So just scoop them out of a spoon, just for putting them on show nicely. Look at those lovely, plump, juicy clams. And give it a stir and a tiny bit of that clam dressing again more on the table is all good just to dress it how about that beautiful dish crusted uh, bream parmesan crust all those different sprouts clams chestnuts hope you enjoy This is a real winner on the Ubi Chef menus now. This is a salted caramel delice. So you've got a beautiful, smooth salted caramel mousse with dark chocolate. We've got a little chocolate brownie that you can just see on the center there. And then we've got our lovely little mirror glaze on the top. And just to finish it off, a little bit of edible gold on there. So what you want to do, just take a nice little uh, fish slice, just lift it up, nice and careful. And I'm just gonna very, very carefully get that onto my plate. Also, little uh, tip from the top, if you want to get an even more of a shine on the top, just put it very, very quickly under the grill, and then put it, literally seconds, and you can see the shine is awesome after that. But be very careful, because if it starts to melt, it will all flow off, and then we'll all be in all kinds of a mess. So, what we've got here to serve with it, we've got a banana and lime mousse. So just cut the end off your piping bag, and then I'm just gonna Squeeze that down to the bottom, make sure it's all ready to pipe, and then here we go. Now, a nice little pipe of mousse on there. And let's get some of our popcorn. This is toffee popcorn. We just pop it and then we roll it in a lovely little caramel with nice butter in there. So we'll get a good few pieces of that on the top, and some more around. And again, it's there for a reason as well, that little crunch going really, really nicely and cutting through that rich salted caramel. A few more pieces. And there we go. That's one of my favourites. Hope you enjoy this really nice dessert.